Hello, my name is Dr. Gajendra Prohit and you are watching our YouTube channel where I upload videos for Engineering, Mathematics and BSc. If you are preparing for any competitive exam where higher mathematics is asked, my channel is very helpful for you all. Students, I have just started uploading 2.0 course on infinite series on YouTube. In this course, we will discuss about infinite series, when it converges and when it diverges. What are the tests on this topic? I have uploaded videos about them. So you can go and watch it on YouTube. Students, today I will be discussing the Kochi condensation test from where many questions are asked in the exam. Either you are pursuing engineering or BSc or preparing for any competitive exam. Many questions are asked from this. And specifically, when is this test done? So students, whenever in any series we have a log term, then there we use the Kochi condensation test which we are going to discuss here. So what does the Kochi condensation test say if we have any infinite series where we have positive integral values which means positive terms. So the summation of a raised to power n, f in bracket a raised to power n and summation u raised to power n, both of these will either converge or they will diverge. Now what does this mean students? Please don't get confused. Let's say we have a series which is given to us. So what do we have? It's un. What is it students? Un is log n upon n. I am trying to say that I have done this earlier as Kochi integral test. If you have not seen it, then you can check it out. We can test this by both Kochi integral test and by Kochi condensation test also. Now what does Kochi condensation test say? It says that the summation u n that we have is a series, right? So now what do we do here students? Whatever we have here. Whenever n comes, you have to write a power n, okay? So a that we have here, its value should be greater than 1. Value greater than 1 can be anything. It can be 2 or 2.5 or 3 or even more than that. So I will always take 2. Clear? So students, what you have to do is, now look students. So whatever function we have here, in place of n, we will put a to the power n meaning. 2 to the power n and then we will put 2 to the power n in front. So if I write here, then what will we get? It is 2 to the power n, right? n is equal to 2 to infinity. I am writing this over here, okay? Wherever there is n, we will put 2 to the power of n. Is that clear? Do you understand this? We have f2 power n and we have 2n. So you can understand it like that. Now you see 2 power n and 2 power n will be cancelled. Clear students. What will we do? Summation n is equal to 2 to infinity. It is power, so it will be in front. So we can write this as n power log 2. Let's take out log 2. So students, here we will get n is equal to 2 to infinity summation n. And we know that this is monotonically increasing series which is unbounded. So what will we get here? It will be divergent. And if this is divergent, then this is also divergent because both of their behavior is same. Is that clear? You need to understand this and in the same way we have proved this here. Let's take another example to understand it in a better way. Let's say we have 1 upon n to the power 3 upon 2. Now what will you do in this? Here, the same rule will be applied. Students, we will write summation n is equal to 2 to infinity. So now here, the series will be written in this way, a to the power n, f a to the power n. Do you remember that this is f, wherever n will come, what will be right there? Here we will put it as 2 power n, although we will write 2 in place of a. So students, what will we do here? We will write 2 power n and wherever there is n, we will put 2 power n and then we will get this. Is that clear? Now you can see that 2 power n and 2 power n gets cancelled out. Now what students? Summation n is equal to 2 to infinity. We will take n in front, so it will be 1 upon n log 2 to the power 3 by 2. Now we will take out this log 2 to the power 3 by 2. So here log 2 is constant. The summation that we have is dependent on n. This means that we only need n. So it will be 1 upon n power 3 by 2. And we know that this p-series test which is given here is convergent, right students? We know that this p-series test is summation 1 by n raised to the power p. If here the value of p would have been greater than 1, then this series would have been convergent, right? So here, we will get this series as convergent. Now if this is convergent, then this will also be convergent. So students, here we have a conclusion, which is summation n is equals 2 to infinity of 1 upon n in bracket log n raised to power p. Students here, if we have a series of this type and if the value of p is greater than 1, then this series is convergent, is it clear? Or the value of p is 1 or less than 1. If it is 1, then it will be same as the previous question and if it is less than 1, then what? It diverges. 
this needs attention because sometimes the proof is asked that for what value of p is this series convergent. So, you can do it in this way. This is the same type of question. So, students here the value of p is 1. So, what do we have here? Here it is divergent. So, you can easily do it in this way. Is that right? So, this is a question that you are seeing here n log n raised to power p is given. So, we know that for p when value is greater than 1 it will be convergent, right? You can also do it yourself. What will we do here? It will be summation n is equal to 2 to infinity, right? Now, we will check 2 power n, f in bracket 2 power n. So, students the summation n is equal to 2 to infinity and this will give us 2 raised to power n and 1 upon 2 raised to power n, log 2 power n power p. We know that these two will get cancelled out. Summation equals 2 to infinity. Now, 1 upon here this power will move in front. So, it will be n log 2 raised to power p. Now, students take log 2 out of this, okay? So, now here it will be 1 upon log 2 raised to power p summation n is equal to 2 to infinity 1 upon n raised to power p. And we know that if you look at this series by the p series test. So, what happens on p series test? On p series test it is convergent, right? If the value of p is greater than 1 then this series will be what? It will be convergent. If it is 1 or if it is less than 1 then this series will be what? It will be divergent. So, students you all can easily check it, right? Look at this question. Summation of n is equal to 2 to infinity 1 upon log n power p is given. How we will find that whether it is Cauchy condensation test? Is it convergent or divergent? Here we can do it by comparison. But I can explain you another way. What will we do next? We know that summation n equals to 2 to infinity 2 to power n f in bracket 2 to power n. So, we will apply it. So, then it will be summation n equals to 2 to infinity 2 raised to power n 1 upon in bracket log 2 raised to power n whole bracket raised to power p. Right students? So, you can clearly see what will we get here. It is summation n equals to 2 to infinity 2 power n. Now students, here I can write it as upon n log raised to power 2 whole raised to power p. Right? Now take out this log 2. So, students it will be 1 upon log 2 because it will come outside. Okay? Summation n equals to 2 to infinity 2 to power n upon n to power p. This is the method. So, now this is un. Now, we are going to use un plus 1 by un test which is known as the Delembert ratio test. We will use this to check for which value of p. Will this be convergent? Clear students? What I will do is I will consider this as un. This value that is coming here you can consider it as un and apply Delembert ratio test. So, this un that we have it will be 2 raised to power n upon n raised to power p. So, we all know students that if the value of limit n tends to infinity, u n plus 1 upon u n would be less than 1. Then this series would be convergent, right? Now, let us solve it here to check it. What it will be? So, it will be limit n tends to infinity, right? And I am writing this here, okay? So, what will we get here? 2 raised to power n plus 1 upon n plus 1 raised to power p and this will be 2 raised to power n. This will be power n p, right students? When you will look at it, from here the value will be limit n tends to infinity. But if this gets cancelled, then it will be 2 on top. When n power p is in denominator, then it is 1 plus 1 by n. Then students, what will be the power? It will be 1 plus 1 by n whole power p. And when we will take n tends to infinity, then we will get 2 whose value is greater than 1. So, this will be divergent. So, ultimately if we see, this series will be what? It will be divergent. Now, you will have a question that when will convergent come? You can see here that you can put the value of p as 2 or 3 or 4. You can try any value that you want. So, students, for all the values of p, the series will be divergent. Is that clear? Because changing the value of p will not make any difference. Ultimately, as soon as you put any value for p, the value of the limit will be 1. Is it clear? So, here the value is coming as 2 which is greater than 1 which means this series that we are dealing with is going to be divergent. So, if it is divergent, then this will be divergent. This means this will also be divergent. So, for all the values of p, this series will be divergent. You need to understand this. So, this question is for comment box and please comment and let me know how many seconds did it take for you to solve it. If you want to see more videos of such kind about Infinite Series 2.0, which I have already uploaded, then you can check out this playlist. If you are preparing for CSIR Net, Gate, IIT Jam and want to improve your short tricks, I have uploaded many good videos. You can watch them and subscribe to the new channel. Thank you very much to everyone. Bye-bye students.